Hi. I'm Colin the Butcher, I am. Yeah. Said you, you were looking for an idea. Maybe a crazy green idea. Alright. Oh, this is a video. Alright. Okay. So, yeah, you want a, you want a green idea, do you? Well, that's alright. I can do that. Alright, here's my crazy green idea. Well, basically, you just... Well, there's a problem with styrofoam in landfills. Or so I've heard, I don't even actually know. This is not working. Hi, this is Ted Susan, and I want to tell you my crazy green idea. I know the contest is over, but um, the idea still exists, and I wanted to put it out there. The problem I wanted to tackle was styrofoam, and um, how most of styrofoam isn't recycled because it's difficult to recycle and uh, it lasts forever. So my idea was to take advantage of a space that most people wouldn't think about, and that is the space in between the pages of books. My idea was uh, after you use a styrofoam plate, which I guess you shouldn't be doing anyway, but um, if you happen to already have styrofoam plates, what you do is you cut out little pieces of the styrofoam plate, and in the end you got a little piece of styrofoam, and what you can do with that is turn it into a bookmark. And depending on how many books you have, or how many books you have access to where you're allowed to put bookmarks in, um, you can put a little piece in each book, and pretty soon the whole plate will be dispersed through your whole library. It's uh, nothing big, but I think it can help to maybe reduce the amount of styrofoam in landfills um, so that you hold on to them for a little bit longer and they're out of everyone's way. And when you're reading a book, uh, you always need a bookmark, otherwise you lose your place. So I think it's a win-win situation. And that's my crazy green idea. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Yeah, yeah. What's for dinner?